making predictions from an equation and a line of fit. The scatter plot shows the number of movie theater screens in the United States for several years following 1999. Let's take a look at that scatter plot and notice on the x-axis we have uh, the years since 1999 rather than the actual name of the years themselves. So you'll have to take each number on the x-axis and add it to 1999 to figure out what year that is. Uh, also on the y-axis we have number of screens but notice they're in thousands which means when we see 40 listed there we're talking about 40,000 as opposed to just 40. So let's keep those things in mind as we solve our problem. So what we need to do is write an equation in slope intercept form for the line of fit that is drawn. All right, so this is going to take three different steps to do. Uh, the first step here is to use two points that are on the line to find the slope. So let's bring up our formula for finding slope and then plug in the coordinates uh, that we are given. We're given 237 and 638. So we end up with 38 minus 37 over 6 minus 2, which is going to give us a slope of 1 fourth. Uh, from here on out throughout the rest of the problems, we're going to change that slope uh, from a fraction to a decimal. So from now on when you see it, it'll be 0 0.25. What does this slope mean? This slope means that every four years there are 1,000 more movie screens. Step two brings us to use the slope and the coordinates of either point to write the equation of the line in point-slope form. All right, so let's bring that up. What is point-slope form? We've got y minus uh, the y-coordinate of one of the points is equal to m times x minus uh, the uh, coordinate for x uh, that we're using. So let's plug in those numbers as though we're using the 638 coordinate. Uh, so we've got y minus 38 is equal to 0.25 times x minus 6. Well, that was step two. Let's look at step three. Step three is to solve the point slope equation for y. So let's do that. Here's what we came up with. y minus 38 is equal to 0.25 times x minus 6. The first thing we're going to do in our order of operations is get rid of the parentheses. So we're going to multiply 0.25 by x and then multiply 0.25 by negative 6. And so we end up with y minus 38 is equal to 0.25x minus 1.5. Now we're going to get y by itself by adding 38 to each side of the equation so that the minus 38 will cancel itself out. And what we end up with is y minus 38 plus 38 is equal to 0.25x plus 38 minus 1.5. Now we're going to simplify that out and we're going to do the 38 minus 1.5 and that leaves us with y is equal to 0.25x plus 36.5. Okay, so there is the uh, first part of our solution, or what we've been asked to do. We've been asked to put it into uh, our slope intercept form. But there's more. Now it wants us to predict the number of movie theater screens in 2013 using the equation from the line of fit you just found. So, here's the equation. We've got y is equal to 0.25x plus 36.5. We're going to find out what the x will be. The x is the number of years since 1999 uh, that is 2013. So 2013 minus 1999 is 14. So x is going to be equal to 14, which we'll plug in here. So now, we'll multiply y 
or we'll do y is equal to 0.25 times 14 plus 36.5. And when we do that out, we end up with y is equal to 40. So is our answer 40? Well, we needed to predict the number of movie theater screens in 2013 using the equation from the line of fit you just found. And we got y, we solved what y was, uh, but is our answer 40? Well, no, our answer is not 40. Remember that the number of screens is done in thousands. So we would multiply 40 by 1,000, and we would get our prediction. There should be about 40,000 movie screens in 2013.